Oh. Hello, one and all. Welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 5. I am the Max Few Trades. In the last part, I ran about in the, you know, mementos for a little while. We got some stuff done. Got some other stuff not done. Kind of, you know, half and half in it. Regardless, uh, you might be wondering, what are we doing in the Velvet Room? And why is Justine all, oh, about it? Okay, well, here's the thing. Remember, okay, I, I wanted to get a, a, a rank 10 with the rest of my uh, obvious ha free time that I have. I don't know what's going to happen once things go down. So, I decided there is one confidant I can definitely max out right here, right now. And by Jove, by howdy, it's with these two. So, I did everything I possibly could to make the very specific personas that they wanted with the very specific skills that they wanted. It cost a lot of money. It cost a lot of time. It was more than frustrating, so I really hope the rank 10 thing we get with them is actually worth a dang. Although, to be fair, I do actually now have some pretty good personas. <laughs> Especially the one they asked for me last. Uh, I'll show it to you guys once we get through all of this. It would seem. Yes, I have brought you a Lachesis with Tetra. <laughs> Looks all right. So let's have ourselves a little bit of a powwow, a convo, if you will. All right, let's keep moving to the next task before things get all messy like last time. Don't want to be getting all up in our feelings and stuff. No difficult questions, Justine. Just give him his assignment. Yes. Understood. Huh? Eh? What? What's with you? You're not usually this cooperative. And so it already fell apart. I have no intention of abandoning my duty, <laughs> but I would like to know the truth of the situation. After all, we possess a mysterious list which seems to have foretold the current state of affairs. Somewhat, you know, kind of spooky. Who wrote it? Why do I recognize the penmanship? Why does observing a growth feel nostalgic? I don't have the answers to any of these, <laughs> so I can't really help them. And beyond that, what was the true intent of its creator? Yeah. I thought I said no difficult questions. To be honest, though, I have arrived at a hypothesis. <gasps> you know the answer? Gimme, gimme, gimme! We manage the inmate's power via several arcana, which symbolize the mystic nature of this world. Yes, yes. In truth, the encounter we share with him is represented by the strength arcana. Strength represents a great power, a mighty will, and the awakening of the unknown. Yeah, but aren't all arcana, like, super vague that you could actually apply them to anything? Kind of like horoscopes? Sounds about right. Caroline, in our interactions, has the inmate been the only one to have had something awaken within him? Eh. Perhaps therein lies the answer. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, damn it, why do I feel so weird? Uh. Those are both kind of rude, so I'll just sit in silence. Hmm. All right. This next task is going to be the eighth one. There aren't too many left down the list. You've come this far, inmate. Hope you see it through. If you do so, the answer will surely become clear. And, uh, you're more than just some random schmuck to us now. You're the only one who can find the answer we're looking for. You got that, inmate? Yeah, 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 you sasundere. Whatevs. Alrighty. So then that would boost us to rank seven. Oh, but the, tr the crazy train is far from over. Let me tell you. Listen up. Okay, next. You're gonna, gonna bring us up one more persona before you get another reward. Oh, joy! I get two rewards by the end of this. Immediately yeah. trans over into the next one. We need a Hecatorana Kashama this with the skill Mas Masukunda. Okay. Yeah, do that thing! Oh. oh, dang, looks like you already did. Well, that's not suspicious. See? You managed to do all three assignments, and you didn't once try to give up. Not bad. You're actually kind of getting nicer, and I honestly, that kind of spooks me more than anything. Hmm. Not many tasks left. We might be getting close to finding out the hidden goal behind that list. Snicker. That's right, the candy bar. You know, thanks to you, I'm actually starting to look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> Your attitude has shifted quite considerably, Caroline. I see now that the harsh mask you wear during the fusion ritual is nothing more than a facade. But what? Perhaps in your heart you have longed for the days the inmate would come to fuse the specific personas. Th that's not true! And what about you, Justine? You've been real talkative lately. Huh. I suppose you're correct. What? I've never heard you laugh before, Justine. We have both clearly changed quite a bit recently. Perhaps my hypothesis is true after all. Yes. 
We have thought that if we were to complete the list, we would bring to light the intent of its creator. Also, side note, unrelated. Why isn't the prison uniform, like, an optional costume to run around, like, you know, the palaces in? Seems kind of obvious. Anyway. We have overseen the inmate, all the while considering the changes that have begun to appear within him. However, can it truly be said that the inmate is the only one who has changed? The complication of these tasks has also had a great impact on both my consciousness and my memories. No way! Are you trying to say that list is, uh, isn't supposed to change the inmate but us instead? <sighs> I have no proof of that. However, if this list represents the will of our master, why has it fallen into our hands and not his? This has got to be some kind of joke. You're telling me somebody made it so they could change us. But why? Yeah. You guys doing okay? Yeah, what's happened? I can hear a voice in my head. Wait, I recognize this voice. Oh, boy. <laughs> Caroline? Whoa, Igor interjects. What seems to be the matter? You are acting quite abnormally. Does something trouble you? Uh, our apologies, Master. Is the inmate proving to be too horrible a subject for you? No, the fault does not lie with him. If you must reprimand anyone, let him let it be us. Dang. You actually do care about me, Caroline. I see. Very well. Continue onward with his rehabilitation. Our deepest apologies for that brief loss of composure. Now then, you have completed three tasks. Let us bestow upon you the next reward. We shall grant you permission to use the special isolation cell. You use it just like a normal lockdown cell, but it's a heck of a lot stronger. How's it stronger exactly? Because the persona you pop in there will learn a stronger resistance skill. I doubt I'll ever use that. We expect that you will put its services to good use. I mean, I might put something in there and forget I did. I mean, that's a very real possibility. Alrighty, cool. So instead of just getting a resistance, I imagine you'd be able to get, like, a nullification. All right. Or, dare I say, even a reflect. Huh. So I guess we've changed, huh? That much is clear. Strength. The 11th Arcana, which nearly splits the Major 22. The Awakening of the Unknown. A solitary woman calmly coming to face a lion. Getting chewed on because you don't do that. Caroline, let us assign the inmate his next task before we discuss this matter any further. If this list is meant to change us, that must change must surely be important. Fine. Alright, inmate, it's time to get your new task. Oh, and your next reward is going to be incredible, so you got to do two tasks before you can have it. Well, I would hope. I hope it's incredible. Listen well. Accordingly, these next two shall be the most difficult you have faced to this point. And how? Definitely didn't take me about an hour each for both of them. <laughs> okay. I believe the next one is Bugs. You know that well. that, that bear? Psycho bear? Yeah, 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 Bugs with Samakaram with you and you. <laughs> yep. And I've already got it. Oh, oh snap, that was fast. It would seem... It's almost like you saw the list ahead of time. How'd you do this? You make it seem easy. Well, the assignment is done. I make everything seem easy. I'm a flippin' fan of thief, yo. <sighs> Thinking back on our encounters here, we have lost our composure in front of you a... Eh, quite a few times. Sorry about that. I had to open a door. <laughs> okay. So, uh, me and Justine had a little talk. I don't know how to put this, but we don't know each other too well, even though we're so close. Is that so? We've also come to realize that each of us complements the faults of the other quite nicely. Oh, that... I mean, yeah. Two halves yeah. of the same person. I don't think I've ever had a deep convo like that with anyone before, but that's just classic duo... Well, duality. If you're gonna have a duo, they have to complement each other. Pick up where the other one lacks. Oh, and it made me remember something super important. Plus, it's a twin thing. So, it just makes sense. Kind of odd that you never came across that, though. It made me remember something super important. I bet you want to hear what that was. Isn't that right, inmate? Well, I mean, it would be nice if you told me. But I can't make you. <laughs> of course you would. Listen up, the thing that I remembered is something someone once told me. You explain it, Justine. Essentially, the 22 Arcana represent a journey. The fool embarks on a pilgrimage throughout the numbers overcoming death and eventually obtaining the world. The world. In short, this journey is the tale of one's path through life. So he realized something. 
If this wildcard thing, the potential of the fool, proves that you're a traveler, then your becoming stronger will lead us all in the right direction. That may be the true meaning of rehabilitation, or perhaps it is something beyond even that. Regardless, one thing we can be sure of is that this list was written with the intent of being completed, as most lists are. I've, I've yet to see someone make a list that they didn't at least intend to finish. Understanding and having faith in that intent is the change this list has brought in, about in us. Not that somebody like you would be able to comprehend that, but for us, it was something really important to learn. Oh, and I think we might know who that voice in my head was, too. I can't tell you right now, though. Um, okay, well, why? First of all, we don't have any way to actually prove it. Fair enough. Secondly, if it is indeed true, everything we have come to know would be thrown into question. So some real earth-shattering revelations, I guess. <laughs> Regardless, we have grown able to reflect on ourselves thanks to you. Yeah, I have noticed you two have stopped being one-dimensional. Oh, you, you, I'd even say you're slightly past two-dimensional by this point. This may not be something I should be saying to you, but I have quite enjoyed our time spent together. You hear that, inmate? You better overcome this ruin stuff. Keep surviving all the way until we learn the truth! Together! We vow to do everything in our power to assist you, for the sake of your future and our own. Well, how about that? Yay! They don't hate me anymore! I'm down with that! All right. I mean, I'm sure their outside of the Confidant dialogue's not gonna change and be just as hostile, but hey, you know. <laughs> Dare to dream. So, there you have it! Don't expect us to play nice just because we believe in you, though. We're gonna be as strict as ever! Yep, see, there it is. Farewell. Now then, it is time I assign you the final task before you receive your immensely powerful reward. Okay, now you guys are overselling this. I'm almost nervous that it's not going to be anything good. Regardless, I do have that last thing. It's literally a giant wow. flippin' dragon. And get this, its name is Seth. T yeah. Please bring us a Seth with high counter. How do you get a Seth with high counter, you ask? Well, first you gotta make a Seth, which is a component of about a bajillion different personas. Fuse them all together and you get Seth. Then you have to manually sacrifice a persona that has high counter and hope that that's the one move out of the eight it has gets transferred over over to Seth. If this doesn't work, you gotta turn off your dang system and start all over again. Or just, you know, reload the game. So the point is, it took a very long time and it was very monotonous. But Seth is pretty sweet, so I'm okay with that. My. Is that a Seth with a skill high counter? Why, I do believe it is. That's it! That's the persona we asked for! And what do you know? Voice acting! Love it! You really made it? Well, I made the other nine, so why wouldn't I? The inmate with all those pitiful personas actually managed this. Well, I started with bad ones, but now they're pretty good. <clears throat> I guess I can compliment you this time. And I guess I cannot give you a snappy comeback. Well done. Hanky. You have far exceeded our original expectations. Yeah, but weren't those really low? This may not be a proper thing to say to an inmate, but you have done extraordinary work. Yay! You're a real handful, but I gotta give you some credit. I'm not entirely sure how I'm a handful to you two. You really don't do anything. You just kind of tell me to wake up, point me in the direction of Igor, and then there's this confidant. That's also optional, so... You see me, what, like maybe two minutes every- like every other week? As for the next task we will assign to you... I thought that was the last! There is nothing. Yeah, see, there you go. You have fulfilled every duty available to you. Yeah, duty. As the ones who rule over power, our role is... <gasps> Rule over... Power? Oh my god, are you a robot? Have you gained ascension beyond your programming? Why did I say that? Uh, a voice is echoing in my head. Yeah, this happened to the other one. Justine? Are you okay? It is nothing. Just my head. Oh yeah, no, it's absolutely nothing. You know, I just have a very sharp, painful throbbing inside my brain. Probably nothing worth thinking about. Uh, uh, these memories... 
The one who first wrote this list... It was me? Or was it us? Then... Okay, I guess you guys have had some crazy levels of amnesia. I mean, I get that you were recalling memories and stuff, but like... How do you lose all of your memories, except for like, the names of each other? And... I mean, that's pretty much it, and never question it. It took me for you guys to realize you didn't know jack about nothing. Just... Uh, what are we? Probably whatever the whatever Margaret was in the last game. Yeah. You remember something? Okay, do you need a minute? My apologies. Uh, sure. You're forgiven. Don't worry. This has happened to me too. Yeah, I was there. It was like ten minutes ago. Teammate, <laughs> this is all your fault for not keeping your mouth shut. What? Caroline, do not shift the blame onto him. I thought we were friends now. I hope you know you're a real handful, inmate. I'm sorry that my presence has forced you to remember things you've long since forgotten. Fine. I'll grant you that privilege. <laughs> We've really gone soft, huh? Not exactly. I mean, it's not like you guys were really ever hard. You just... You just said a lot of mean things. Perhaps... Perhaps you are too embarrassed to admit how much his concern pleased you. Wow, they're both showing emotions they used to not show English good. No! Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna cry tears of joy when you get it. I sincerely doubt that, but I appreciate the effort. Um, inmate. What up? There's no doubt you're a problem child, but honestly, we're real impressed that you conquered all the trials we put forth. Well, I'm glad. It was not easy. You hold a surprisingly great potential. Yeah, apparently. So, fight. I'm sure you'll be able to accomplish anything you put your mind to. Wow, damn, actually coming from you, that uh, <laughs> that's actually really nice of you. Wow. Thank you. Meh. And you'd better put a stop to the ruin. Okay? Woo! Okay, I get it. Sugar and ice. Holy hell. Yeah, leave it to me. It's all good. Trickster, I believe in you. Prove to us that you can reach the truth. I look forward to letting you down. We will be waiting for you. I feel a strong bond with these two. A bond so strong I might end up on a particular list that nobody wants to be on. Yeah, that's kind of overselling it. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of strength, granting thee infinite power. I mean, if anything was going to give you infinite power, I'm assuming it would be strength. Hi, what do we got here? It allows you to pay to create personas of a higher level? Holy crap. So wait, I don't have to level up to get better personas anymore? I can just... I can just buy them now? All right. Well, hell to the yeah to the yeah to the hell. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right. And I can fuse Zhao Gongan. Hooray for the Gongan! Be careful not to lose focus. You're still in rehabilitation till you can get out from behind the bars. Got that, inmate? Yeah, but I still don't know how I'm supposed to be able to get through the bars. Other than being able to just kind of wiggle my way through, because <laughs> they're honestly kind of spaced too far apart. I, I honestly, if I tried, I bet I could. Okay, well now I can't. Those bars were definitely wider in the cutscene. Any ding-dong way, mind if I take a little bit of a looky-loo? Alright, well first things first, let me show you about all the things I have here. Here, look, here's Seth. Look at this, this yellow eyes black dragon up in here with his crazy abilities. Severe gun damage, heavy fire, heavy bless. He's got medium almighty and medium nuclear damage. It's pretty great. He's also got the high counter that took forever to get. Does not stack. I, I like that it actually bothers with that. Automatically strengthens gun spills by 50% can stack, so I can only assume that this makes this stronger. So that's pretty great. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I needed to make this. I just sort of ended up with this. 
has no weaknesses thanks to Null Nuke. Uh, it's got Regenerate, Invigorate, so those are useful. This is basically my my healing, my healing persona, and my regeneration one too. Uh, that's nothing. I don't think that's anybody. Yeah, no, it's not. And nope, so same with you. There's bugs. It's bugs. The teddy bear full of skulls. <laughs> mm. Kind of turned into Pee Wee Herman. Mm. Anyway, I don't really think this is the greatest loadout, but I mean, I have the ability to revive with this, so that's cool. And then there's this horrifying monstrosity that I had to make. He says he has 100 hands, but I counted, and that can't be any more than 12, so he's kind of a liar. Oh, there's also this. This one is ver a very low consequence. Either way, alright, so question. Fused by results, by level, and okay, so I can just... I see. A strong persona indeed. I can just straight up get this? Hang on. Hang on. I see. A strong persona indeed. Is it though? I know not. Either way, heavy ice damage to all foes. That is pretty great. I just realized this is basically David Bowie. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so I have to get rid of bugs. And my Healy guy! Ah! Alright, do I even have the money great for it? Things are possible. Do you wish a fusion greater than your own power? Given your circumstance, I may be willing to expressly facilitate your re rehabilitation for a big chunk of money that I do not have, but I might later. Okay, okay, okay. Plus, I can basically give everything. And is that heavy wind damage to all foes? Wow, it is. I think, I think Lilith here might actually be a pretty handy persona. Interesting. Okay, okay, so... I just need money, because I spent all of it, you know, actually you change your mind? <laughs> buying personas from the from the registry, which, by the way, I have over 50% of now. Finished? So that's pretty cool. But even with the discounts, I've completely burned a hole in my wallet. Either way, no I'm out of here. Woo! Just spent about 24 minutes inside the Velvet Room. Alright. And the hilarious thing is, we're probably not even... We're probably gonna go back there pretty soon. Once I sell all the junk I have. Wanna head back? You know it! I mean, I searched top to bottom about uh, Futaba's... Uh, whatever. Uh, her, her specific thing about her uncle. And I'm guessing there's... I, maybe I have to talk to either her or uh, Sojiro about it in order to actually like activate it. I can only assume... Would make sense, I suppose. Oh, what have the people got to say this time? Are they still searching for the Phantom Thieves? This isn't even news anymore. I don't care about politics. Just arrest the Phantom Thieves already? We can't trust these incompetent politicians to do anything. Well, I'll say you've played Knife and Spoon here before. <clears throat> and that was about my range of possible accents. <laughs> yeah, not very good. Back. Howdy dowdy. All right. First things first. Gotta call the homeroom teacher for a massage. Nothing weird about this. Uh, I bring it up each time. But that's only because it's really, really flippin' weird. All right. We had this song and dance number before. Don't want to do it again. That being said, our main, the reason I did that is so I could go to the, uh, the airsoft shop. Because I want to sell my stuff. I can also check to see, does anybody want a higgity higgity hang? Nope. The only one available is Afumi, and she thinks I'm too stupid to help her. Except she doesn't. The game thinks I'm too stupid to help her, which is rude. <laughs> so very, very rude, and I do not care for it, let me tell you. Anyway, how goes it, Mr. Man? All right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to shop, yo. No. I got some stuff to sell. Also okay. customize. Hang on. Sounds good. Can I add this? Be sure to choose carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. That's uh caught up in a not really that good of a upgrade if I'm being entirely honest with you. That's actually a very good upgrade though. Interesting. Although accuracy goes completely down. I'm not 100% right. sure if that's even worth it. Yes, that's fine. Either way, there you go. I will also sell these weapons that I found down there. I found freaking two katanas. Yes, that's fine. Don't even know why. 
Here's a couple guns. Oh wait, no, I want to. I probably want to hold on to those for a little while. There's a bunch of these. Serious today. Don't need fine. that. Or this. Or this. Or these. I uh, can get rid of those. Mm -hmm. You can have this too if you want it. All right, and here's another one of these. In case you're interested, I can also offer you a couple of those. Uh, I have two of these, surprisingly enough. And okay then, there we go. Oh, bead chain. When did I get these? Fully restore HP to all allies. Holy crap, that's awesome. And I have two of them? How have I ended up with these things without any knowledge? I mean, I know I bought this stuff at one point, and I've been too afraid to bother ever actually even using them. Interesting. Okay. That being said, let's see. Maybe, let's look at protectors. All right, just to be on the safe side. Okay, nope, that's worse than what it is. This is an improvement, but by how much? Need to do something. Not enough for that price. Don't need that. Oh, this is a down. USK, that's a down. All right, so that's stuff that I actually, apparently using the, the laundromat actually did prove to be a really good idea. And it turns out I'm just stupid as hell. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Sounds good. Let's see, and we already have the best weapons we can grab. Okay. All Anything. Right, and the best of those, too. Huh. Alrighty, then. Uh, come again. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to do maintenance on my model guns. Are model guns known for working? Because at that point, I don't think they're just models anymore. Pretty sure they're weapons. Also, I don't understand why he has, like, melee weapons for sale. That's confusing. At least the Metal Workshop in Persona 4 made some kind of sense. Even though it didn't really make sense that, you know, he would build such freakishly complicated stuff. Either way, I would like to actually go uh, back in here for a bit. Hey, inmate. Don't have to be playing around, inmate. Hurry back to your prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, and you still kick me. You still kick me. Why must you do this thing? I thought we were the friends. Alright, well, the good news is I have got much money. The inmate needs our guidance. All right, so... Do you wish to perform an execution? Uh, yeah, technically. What path do you want? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Then again, maybe I do. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah. Wait. My brain! Can you gather them up? Okay, yeah, you need... Alright, I should... I can... Yeah. I can make any of these dudes. I just... I still need the, you know, the materials for them. And I imagine they would be really expensive, too. So... Then we'll just... Yeah, okay. Few, fuse by result. Let me take a look at these I other see. ones, though. A strong persona, indeed. Drains ice, strong against the uh, light and darkness. I have to get rid of my many arms, man of many arms, and my bugs. But at the same time, looks pretty tough. Lilith looks like it could be pretty good, and I get a, you know a rank ten boost. So, yep, say goodbye to these two, I guess. Great things are yes, awesome. it's very powerful. I'm completely aware of that, and yes, I would like to make it anyway. Like Alright, so let's see here. The things I need, the things I need. Alright, I want those back, because I just, I, I freaking need those. Those aren't necessary. I mean, they're nice, but they're not necessary, especially when I can attach this. And I feel like whatever skills it gains is going to replace whatever else I put here. So, I really... I guess I'll just... It will receive took friggin' forever to get Samak Ram, so sure, why not? <laughs> Throw that on there. Potentially lose it immediately. Badambo! Mmm, hello down, David Bowie. I was in Labyrinth. That sounds more like Ringo. Alright, I will be your mask from here forward. This will be a night you'll never forget. Mm, probably a bit longer than that, but alright, whatever. I choose to ignore any subtext that might have been. Boom! That's five levels. Alright, let's see. Spirit Drain. Spirit Drain does sound pretty handy. What's Makara break? Negates Marara Karn. See, here's the thing. I don't... I don't know off the top of my head. No! What Makara... Makara break... Makara even is! What do, how am I supposed to know? Alright, well that's... Instant kill. I, I don't really want that. Oh, 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 no, wait, that's curse instant kill to all foes. Mm, you don't say. 
Alright, I'll get rid of this, and everyone will get very upset with me about it. I know, I know, I know. And then heavy fire damage to all foes. Ironic, considering the weakness. Okay. What do I get rid of? What do I get rid of? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. These are all relatively decent abilities. Okay, fine. I have items for this. Ugh. See, I told you it was probably going to end up getting taken off. Never forget Sir. Eh. I want to take a look Wait, at Sir. Yeah, there's Cert. Just like I remember you. Naked and weird... <laughs> with a weird-shaped head and a giant flaming sword. Yeah, da, 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 yeah. I complete, complete opposite is weak to, weak to ice. It drains fire. Well, that repels ice. I suppose drain is better than repel, really, because that just... I was like, ha-ha, surprise, sucker! You healed me. And all right, yeah, all right. Done already. What do you mean, already? It is time Get off my me. back, woman! Gah. I'm doing my best here. All right. Let's hope Shadow Side doesn't specialize in fire magic, or I'm gonna feel like a massive idiot. All right, then. Back home, as there appears to be, like, nothing else to even do. <laughs> Nobody wants to hang or talk. I guess I'll just make infiltration tools. Any old thing will do. Oh, I have a message from whom? The Shibuya assassin! Oh, right, that guy I stopped. Hey, apparently that assassin completely disappeared from down in the Shibuya underground. It's crazy! Some idiot who doesn't care about his life when asking the homeless guy down there during the day. Though I will say it's strange that he said disappeared and not that he quit. Yeah, that is a little odd. Yeah, I'd guess that he'd had multiple personalities. Oh, that might be a little bit of a far-fetched idea. Anyway, bounties claim victory over the evil assassin. I'm sure even more people have their eyes on you now. I'll be counting on you too. Yeah. That one was pretty complicated, don't you think? I guess Mentos is kind of the same way though. Actually, that was probably one of our simplest ones ever, really. Just automatically have the name, just boop, bang, boom, go in there, punch a dude, bum, 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 bam. Like a bumblebee. All right, oh, that being said, let's make some stuff. Don't really want to check the commodities, so let's just make some tools. Alrighty, and yo, hello, what? Eternal lockpick, is that what I think it is? A tool that can open any number of locked treasure chests. Well, okay then. Okay. Uh, no, no, I'll make this. Ta-da! What are your thoughts? Okay, so this is like a, a permanent use one. I mean, we're so late in the game, I feel like that would be an acceptable thing to have. I could still make more. I mean, yeah, I'll make some other stuff. I can't. I don't need to bother with lockpicks. I guess I could go to this stuff. Yeah. This is the stuff that gives you elemental items. In case I get caught in a bind with no SP and a desperate need to manipulate a weakness, I can just rely on these. What are your thoughts? Did I finish? You know it. Alright. Kind of interesting. I, I have to ask what a happy bomb even looks like. Although at the okay. same time, I don't really want to know. Because that's... Uh, Bombs, they're no joke. What are your thoughts? You can make them look all cartoony all you want with their big t old tiny fuses and stuff, but like, that's about the extent of it. Alright. Okay. These are the less common elements, so it's best to have, I guess, more thoughts? of those. Ta da! You're definitely getting better! I can tell just by watching you and licking my butt. Like this. Okay, that was his thigh, but okay, hello, now I have a better proficiency. Alright. Alrighty. Well, Let's go to bed. Perhaps that was what one may call a eventful night. I dare say, I dare say that that just might be the case. Record breaking evil. Deleted by admin. Now I'm on a bus. Subway. And I can read. This book is useless to me. Um. Alright. I'm not maxed out on guts yet. Mm hmm. So, at that moment, we definitely saw a ghost! Come fight me, ghost! Why are you reading that? Whatever you do, just don't read it out loud, okay? Eh, don't tell me what to do, cat. This isn't a book, it's more of a magazine. Hey, hey! I didn't finish it! I got to the point where the guy took his shirt off and he yelled, Come fight me, ghost! While wielding a baseball bat. I assume he wins. <laughs> 
Oh, ghost hunting television. Why are you even a thing? Today we're going now then, please open your textbooks. Today we'll be lecturing about trigonometrical functions. What? Sine, cosine, and tangent. This is where a lot of people aren't able to keep up. Why would you panic just from seeing a graph? I don't get it. A complicated formula gets condensed down to a single line. Isn't it simple and elegant? Ain't nothing about this simple lady. All of them have distinctive shapes that stimulate the imagination. Now then, Unokari san, take a look at these graphs. Take a look at this graph! Which of these is called a... that, after its resemblance to a snail? None of these look even remotely like a snail. That's a spiral. That's like... a continuously closing circle. That one's just somebody in failing to tie a knot, and the other one kinda looks like somebody doing a jumping jack with a giant bow tie? None of these look even remotely snail-like. <laughs> what? Um, I guess A looks like something that somebody would draw if they were trying to draw a snail, I guess? Hmm. No. Okay, then. What was the answer? The answer is B. What? I suppose it's really the snail shell that it resembles. I mean... Maybe there is some snail that kind of looks like that from a certain angle. Yeah, likewise, D is called the Devil's Curve because it looks like a Chinese yo-yo called the Diabol Diabolo. It's not directly related to devils in any way. I feel like you're making all of that up. Some people may think of math as an enemy, like a devil, as they should, because math is terrible and awful, and ultimately completely pointless to learn, because we've created such advanced computers and calculators that nobody ever has to know how to do any of the math, and even if we did, ultimately it's completely pointless. But there's research that suggests that people who excel at math have higher incomes. Mm-hmm. If you're shooting for a high salary, sometimes you need to be willing to fight demons. Oh lady, if only you knew. I feel like fighting demons would be easier than trying to understand graphs like that. Yeah, all you have, when you're fighting a demon, all you gotta do is smack him around. With math, you gotta, like, th think. <laughs> and I'm not down for that. Anyway, there's one day's left till we send the calling card. Wow. One day's left, you say? Am I busy? I don't know. Depends. What else is going on in town? Let's see. I can just hang. Oh, hello. Taba. I do not remember being barred from Futaba? That is interesting. Hello, what? I don't I don't remember there ever, them ever saying that I uh, needed to up a stat. Well, you know, other than kindness, but I did that already. Oh, uh, about my uncle. Oh, that's what you want. Okay, yeah, I, was, I wanted to do that. I want to head into Mementos right now. Futaba and I will need to go into Mementos, just the two of us. This won't be an easy task. Well, I mean, I imagine Morgana will be there, too. So are you free to go today? Let's do it. Let's Thanks. party down to, to Crazy Town. This is a family issue, so I want to do it alone with you. Oh, and I sent my uncle an anonymous letter, so the calling cards part's taken care of. Who could have sent this anonymous letter? Could it possibly be one of the people I've been deeply antagonizing for many weeks? <gasps> no. There it is. It's my uncle's shadow. He's saying money, money. He forced Sujiro to pay back his debts. He made me go through horrible things, too. And make him have a change of heart. I'll smack him about. I can assure you that. Money, money, money. Doesn't matter who gives it to me. Just give me money. Hey, did you bring me money? Why don't you sell that stupid shop and give me the money? It's consolation money. It's reparations. You have to. You have to give me your money. I ain't giving you no money. If you have enough money, I could keep gambling until I hit another jackpot. Yeah, that's definitely not the logic of an addict. If you won't give me any money, then I'm gonna have to kill you. Rational thought processes. Oh, and now he's the giant elephant. I'm not getting destroyed by someone like him. Let's go, Joker. Alrighty, alrighty, let's do this song and dance number. And I guess Morgana isn't here. I guess we walked here. Life is one big gamble. I don't doubt that. Alright, well, this is Seth. Hang on. Where is... 
Bowie! There we go. All right. I guess I don't really need to, uh... Calm down. <laughs> I don't need to be all that, you know, careful with my SP if this is the only oh, thing yeah. we're going to be doing in here. Aha! Ice tree! And I apparently froze them solid. I feel like he's kind of in a position where that's not useful. But thank you anyway. All right. Um, wind! Yeah, what do you got to say about that? Rise and Slash! Ow. That's just rude. All right. Well, heavy fire! A great big column of pain. Rise and Slash! Yeah, how's that working for you, buddy? I am significantly more powerful than I once was. Staz helmet recovered. Rise and Slash! Is that the only move you know? Like, for realsies? That is... That's just downright... Pathetic. Here, have another giant ice tree. Bambo. Either you're pathetic, or I have actually come across a, a large amount of power. Or maybe even both. I don't know. I'm cool with it, though. This was a good exchange. I'm okay with all this. Seriously? Cobble was smart and competent. I'm just a loser. I guess things would always turn out this way. You were thinking about mom? I'm so embarrassed. Even back then, I thought just being normal was okay. I had my tracksuit. I had my hat. Life was good. Then my whole world changed when I won a lot of money through gambling and then threw it all away, to investing in various, you know, bad decisions and stuff. I don't know. Failing Kickstarters. I don't know. Everyone who thought I was worthless started being jealous of me. Haha. <laughs> I couldn't forget that feeling. It made me feel like I was smart and competent like Wakaba. You're just a gambling addict. <laughs> You're right. Uh, it's too late though. Futaba, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Wakaba. You don't have to forgive them, by the way, just so you know. That's a common misconception. And I get a Morgana weapon from them? Would have guessed some sort of accessory that would have been useful on Futaba or something. Alright. So Jiro's safe now! Yoji Yashiki seems to have had a change of heart. I should check on Sojiro. Alright, let's go check on Sojiro. His name is Sojiro. He's the cool dude. What's to you? Bow, ba bow, bow. Howdy, howdy! Tomorrow's the day. Once you send that calling card, there's no turning back. Make sure you finish preparations tonight. Aren't you bored? If you got time today, if you want me to show you the ropes. Well, I don't know about rope showing, but you could definitely progress with your personal storyline. Can I ask you to help today? You're not to blame. I'll chase out anyone who says otherwise. My goodness, you really went from completely hating me to actually kind of appreciating my existence, and I was not expecting that. Yes, I'm gonna help him out. Duh. Thanks. I'm letting you handle today's Cory. Cory! Oh, dang. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Mm. Sorry, we're closed for. Sojiro Sakura, I presume. Our apologies for coming in so late. We're investigators from the Domestic Affairs Court. Oh, well, ain't that just great. We received a report that one of your customers was assaulted by the probationer residing here. That is, in fact, a lie and defamation of character, and I will not stand for it. I don't care how completely borked up your legal system is. I will fight it. I will find Phoenix Wright. He will... F he will... S has the solution. He's dealt with the paranormal. Moreover, this report stated that you were abusing your child, Futaba-san. No, we didn't make it. Uncle said it sent his report to the police before we could make him have a change of heart. If only I did it while we were there, instead of having to go the next day. However, the anonymity of the report has led us to question the validity of its content. May we have a word? Fine by me. I've got nothing to hide. Please, take a seat. Drops poison in cups. So you're telling me the report was falsified? Yeah. It's true that Futaba was living as a shut-in, but she overcame that weakness under her own power. Technically. And I would never abuse her. She's like a daughter to me. And what about the assault claim? His criminal record points to a history of such violence. Yeah, that... Yeah, look, 
Did he, like, create an entirely fabricated backstory with multiple accounts to it? Because, Lord, if he did, that's only one... That's only one charge. It's just... Ugh. That's not true. You're wrong. By my purple eyes. The kid never laid a finger on that guy. He just stood in the way to try and protect Futaba. We took a swing at her. To be honest, Tenuakati kun we looked into your current reputation at school. Well, that's great. And it seems there have been no issues whatsoever, except for the, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, the gym teacher thing. But I guess we're not paying attention to any of that. So that's nice. Now then, it's our job to make sure children like you are safe. How is it living with Sakura-san? Please, you can speak honestly. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty good. I mean, I still sleep in an attic, but, you know. And what do you think, Futaba-san? I- I'm okay. I couldn't go out for a while, but everyone helped me get better. I'm not afraid anymore. Cue Home Alone clip. That's why I'm really happy living- Oh, she called her dad! Futaba. That's adorable! <laughs> I see. It's quite obvious there were no truth to the report we received. I don't think we'll need to schedule any additional check-ins for Unakatagun either. Are you sure about this? Are you questioning my judgment, woman? They wouldn't have been able to answer so genuinely if they were trying to trick us. Besides, meeting them only served to reaffirm my suspicions. These children are the real victims here. And the truth of these things will be clearer to you once you're a little more experienced. Well, this guy apparently knows his stuff. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation. We'll see ourselves out. And then they left. Why were there two of them? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> only really the other one was just kind of there to say two lines and that was it. Anyway, we did it. Sojiro? <laughs> Are you crying? I'm just gonna say, you've got yourself a pretty good inkling. <laughs> it's not just her, idiot. Oh, snap. There's another pretty important person living here too. Oh, well, dang, man. I didn't know you liked Morgana so much. Yeah, yeah, he's talking about me? Say what? This is because you punks just had to go and say all that cheesy stuff. It wasn't cheesy. It was the truth. Anyways, I hunger. <laughs> Speaking of cheese. Yeah, so much for the sentimental moment. All right, sit your butts down. This is where you two belong. I mean, considering the fact that apparently this character's parents have decided, oh yeah, no, this seems perfectly legit. I mean, he's never done anything bad before, but like... Yeah, you know, he's, he certainly seems that way. So, yeah, sure. We'll ship him off to just some random guy in Tokyo. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much family now. The bond with the Sujiro has grown deeper. And I have reached rank 9! I genuinely hope I am able to <laughs> actually, uh, get that final rank up. Either way, a uh, curry that moderately restores SP to all allies. Holy crap, that's, all right. that's rather handy. SP boosts are always great. Oh, and, uh, Futaba. What you said before when you called me your dad? Uh, you think you could say that again? Sorry, I didn't catch that. My stomach was all a-grumbly. What'd you say? Oh, never mind. That, that very clearly meant a lot to him, and that is adorable. I didn't know you had feelings. Bang! And between all this and being totally chill with being phantom thieves. Holy hell. Hey, quit sleeping over there. Y'all look like a bunch of fish. I tell you what. What was it? Your phone? Video games? I know you were up late. I always wake up at sunrise, on the other hand, kids these days. Man, what's that? You say you have a differing sleep schedule and your body is naturally attuned to being more conscious during the night than the daytime? Well, and you in fact actually have scientific evidence and reports and studies that dictate that all of these things are very real and you might have actually descended from ancestors who actually ran the night shift when guarding the caves from wild animals back when we were all Neanderthals. Well, shut up! You're lazy and your kids and you're stupid. Now I'm looking at a map. Why don't you try? Uh, which of these locations can you see the sunrise the earliest? Uh, okay. Well, Japan. We call that the east because we're the west. Although, I mean, you could call them the west and us the east if you wanted to. Which is, that's for some reason not what we do. Um, so up and furthest to the side. I'm guessing 
Plus, I mean, if you're way all the top on Mount Fuji, you'd probably see over the landscape and the peak and sun this a little bit earlier, too, maybe. Exactly. Well, there you go. The correct answer is the summit of Mount Fuji. Look at all this in Japan. The more east and south you go, the earlier the sun rises. However, what affects it most is altitude. So, excluding the outlying islands, the sun rises earliest on Mount Fuji. Oh my god, how do you know this thing? Did he use deductive reasoning? Did he randomly guess? These are foreign concepts to us as high schoolers. Yeah, look at all my intelligence. Woo! Brain leaking out of my ears. That said, who knows when dawn will ever come for this country? The government and the police are completely incompetent. Just came out of those phantom thieves need to be cut before anything else, and I need pictures. Pictures of Spider-Man. <sighs> just you watch. We'll show you who's just. We'll show you. Mega laser. Oh. It's time to send the card. Oh wait, first we have to have a text message conversation about it. The fan site's on fire as usual. Anyway, tomorrow's finally it. Hope everyone remembers. The date of our plan? Of course we remember. Uh, that means we're sending out the calling card today, eh? Yes, today is our only option. The police have yet to actually make a move, but I'm certain we have reached our limits. We wanted to wait as long as possible to make Makoto's sister panic, right? Yes, taking that into account today would be the best option. We can speak in more detail about this after school. I will tell Akechi as well. You... You shouldn't have to, he's part of the group chat. There's a stupid looking face right over there in the corner. Alright, see y'all at a blank. LeBlanc. LeBlanc, James. I had a thing in my throat. I apologize. Time to deliver this piece of paper to that lady. Hope she doesn't hit us. <laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Yeah, cool. We're all gonna smell like ass. Ain't this place always empty, though? Also true. <laughs> I'm telling boss. Huh? Everyone here is a witness. Oh my god, look at Ryuji's face. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Yeah, I know. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. I thought it was gonna go to freaking Makoto's sister. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? Sincerely doubt that. I could always put it on Saisan's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. True, but I don't trust you, so shut up. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. Also that. Thank you, Morgana. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. I mean, who would ever suspect somebody who goes to the mailbox every day? It's the perfect cover for crimes! That would be the least risky method. No matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. And if she starts throwing accusations around, I'll jump out the window. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? Why do I get the feeling no matter what, the answer is always going to be, yeah, that's something we're, we're just going to have to do that. I trust her with it, that's the only way. Well, well, what do you know? The illusion of choice strikes again. Is that... Really the only way? I don't know, but it's the way we're going with it, so just let's roll. I'll be okay. Yeah, I bet you will. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. I feel like that might be a lie, but okay. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. Oh wait, no, you You did get pinned down by Yakuza. Never mind, you're right. <laughs> I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Yeah, you do that. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Well duh. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? You know it. Yep, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Scatter! Smash a glass on the floor. Scatter! I'll be in the laundry room. Yep. And now we have a third conversation among people, and I'm not getting any of the information from it. Oh. Okay, tomorrow's finally the day. All that's left is to carry out the operation that Makoto outlined earlier that I was not allowed to listen to. The game is keeping information away from me, the actual player. Now we just need to hand it over, as long as we can get it to Nijima. Interesting. 
Well, clearly the game is preventing something from me. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. Uh, isn't the actual sin, like, envy? I mean, envy and jealousy aren't actually the same thing, but I mean, in this context, I think... I think that's the wording you should probably would have gone with. Since we're kind of going with a deadly sin motif. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. And we don't want injustice. We don't need another evil Superman. From the Phantom Thief. That's not what it says. No one ever reads it right. I found it in our mailbox. That's a lie and we both know it. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart. I mean, yeah. What nonsense. They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them. I mean, I'm not going to try and tell you that, you know. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, that is a part. Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. Doubtful. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Okay, well now that's not setting up any flags here or anything. Why do you ask? That's an oddly specific question that I don't know why you asked. Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. Okay, so then... Getting caught was the plan then? Because I can't think of any conceivable reason why Makoto would bring up an interrogation room. Considering I am currently in one, I can only assume that this is some kind of master plan. Is that what's being kept from me? That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Considering, like, it's a complete tonal shift. Sure, she's kind of stern and a little angry Well, in, in the interrogation room while I'm talking to her, but, like... She's significantly more chill while I'm talking to her than she is right now, so I'm... I'm not sure... Did we succeed? I don't think we did. Yeah. Let's do this fair and square. I guarantee it will be anything but that. Also, that outfit. What? <laughs> My goodness. I should probably be getting back. I mean, I friggin' guess. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. So, hang on, though. Real real talk. Is your hair naturally gray, or are you just that stressed? I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. I mean, I don't know when that will technically be, but yeah, probably. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. You what, you trying to make up for the... The calling her a useless drain on your life? Sis. I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Uh, you say that like something's actually gonna happen. It's not like all those other people that cards had something happen to them. And you know, you're my sister and you know, that's... You're concerned because everyone thinks that the murderers, so they think you're going to murder you. I mean, come on now. Crazy lady. Do you need to make a call? You know it. I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? Say what? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? Well, that's just mean. No, of course not. Yes. I understand. Okay. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Huh. Alright. The plot thickens! And now I'm here, hello. Okay. Let's get to bed early so we're rested and ready. Well, hang on, first my pants are pinging. Sorry for the wait, I believe it went well. Thanks, Makotan, it's all going according to plan then. So it has finally come to this, I actually feel somewhat nervous. Shut up, Akechi. Don't freak out so much, screw up, all right? You're one to talk. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Hold on a sec. Crow, go over the operation again before you leave. 
It is just as we discussed earlier, is it not? This battle will decide our future. We must ensure we're fully prepared beforehand. Okay. Now? Okay, there's definitely something up. Between the... Between all of the, uh... The blurred out conversations the game isn't letting me hear about... From the way we're talking right here... To even when Futaba straight up bugged that dude's phone. I mean, hey, she had to have. What? Like... That's, like, the perfect excuse. She went from going from, like, completely and totally not interested and hating him to be going, Oh, look at your phone. I'm really impressed. Yoink. Whoo, look at me. I'm so quirky. Like, are you trying to tell me that that's not what was going down? It was a ruse. It was an act. I refuse to believe otherwise. Mostly because, I mean, if we don't have a plan for all of this, and I admit, I admittedly have absolutely no clue whatsoever about what that could be. Then I can't really see any way out of the situation that we're in, in the interrogation room. And we've got Makoto talking about the interrogation room. Why she talk about the interrogation room, Makoto? You don't know about that. Why do you know about that? Unless it's all part of the secret plan. Very well. Our objective is stealing Saison's treasure. We'll meet at the courthouse at approximately 6 p.m. Good. Want to give us one last word before you go, leader? Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say fish, but yeah, sure. Let's be careful! We'll be relying on you. Yeah, you always are. What a wonderful trusting relationship. I will do my best in this as well. Yeah, I'll bet you will. Alright, can't afford any mistakes. Especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us. Let's give it our all! Alright, let's do this crazy song and dance number. Yeah, I'm so jazzed and hyped up! Time for sleep! Okay. Woo! Nap time! <laughs> uh, I wish I had the ability to just go to sleep. Like, are you kidding me? It needs to be not only, like, 5 in the morning, it also, I also need a sleeping pill, and I also, like, just need to chill for, like, a long time before I even have the possibility of maybe falling asleep for four hours. <laughs>